on that. Yeah. No smiling. Yeah. Yeah.
teachers, and fellow students, welcome to graduation. We are gathered today on this beautiful May evening to honor us and the class of 2016 and our accomplishments. Thirteen years ago, 68 young, bright-eyed kindergartners began a journey in hopes of reaching this very day. Over time, our class has expanded and shrunk to become molded into the 70 graduates sitting before you today. Today, we say goodbye to a small town lifestyle we lived for 13 years and welcome the opportunities of the future. We say goodbye to the big blue slide, paper mache pinatas, routine dress code examinations, and the constant fight to attain a decent parking spot around campus. We say goodbye and thank you to the coaches and faculty whose guidance has enabled us to blossom into young adults ready to take on the world. In a moment, these rich traditions of the past will give way and our slates will be ripe to clean, allowing us, the class of 2016, to traverse into the future, creating new memories to share as we go. Thank you for coming and sharing in this momentous occasion with us tonight. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. <laughs> to East Bernard High School Class of 2016 graduation ceremony. The class would like to thank everyone here for coming to share in this moment of celebration of this great achievement and milestone in our lives. When we began our 12-year journey on the long and treacherous path known as school, way back in kindergarten, we had no idea what we were in for. We had the slightest clue as to how difficult it would be. There are rules to follow, numbers to count, or, and homework assignments to complete. And just when we got used to things, the junior high came along and introduced sports, and our worlds were changed forever. We were forced to balance athletics and academics, and this challenge only grew as we entered high school. Classes became more difficult, and sports became more demanding. We had to write research papers and study for tests while we were going after school practices every day. There were clubs to join, causing everyone to prioritize what they wanted to do and what they had time for. All the work and effort was worth it though, because of the reward in the end. Whether it was under the Friday night lights, on the court, or on the diamond, there was no feeling like playing for sports here in East Bernard as a Raymond. East Bernard has a tradition of being good at everything it does. All the sports make it to playoffs, and we worked hard to carry on this tradition. This year alone, football had made it to regionals, girls cross country had won state, two tennis players got third in state, baseball was area champion, and volleyball made it to the regional tournament, while track won area with several state qualifiers. In the classroom, the competition for class rank was sparked. Everyone in the top 10% pushed to be the best of the best. But many people's plans changed when those darn move-ins and transfer students came in East Bernard, <laughs> including myself. Over the years, we have made many memories of the class. Some good, some bad, and some we wish we could forget. Nevertheless, it is these memories that define us as the special and one-of-a-kind class that we are. All of our action, experience, and choices have shaped us into the individuals we are today. But our memories, peers, and time together have made us the class of 2016. As Bonnie Blair said, it's sad to know I'm done, but looking back, I've got a lot of great memories. We may be going our separate ways after graduation, but we will always remember our time together. Our paths are linked forever, and this is why we cannot and will not ever forget where we came from and what we are all a part of. The best class of East Bernard the East Bernard graduating class of 2016, the world has and ever will see. Woo! Thank you. Good evening. We, the class of 
2016 brought you all together the witness end of senioritis. <laughs> the crippling disease that has plagued many of us since freshman year. After today, class, you are cured. But in all reality, today we truly gather to celebrate our commencement, our next chapter, our future. I can vouch for all of us when I say that we would not be here today without the love and support of parents and family, the education and preparation by our East Menard faculty, and the pride in this community. A personal thank you goes out to my mom, dad, sister, Mr. and Mrs. Hill, and the friends I have made these past three years. I have no doubt in my mind that this network will continue to work in our lives. Today, we stand on the field where some of us spent four years of our life giving blood, sweat, and tears. For others, the court, the band hall, the show ring, the stage, or even the classroom is where we live perfecting each of our own unique abilities to carry into the world. These places will forever be where we came together as a Brahma family. Here we were victorious, and here we will say goodbye to East Menard High School. We will sit and begin to walk the new road paved for us. Our graduation announcement says it best. We all have our own ambitions and our own dreams to pursue. In the words of Yankee baseball player Yogi Bear, if you ever come to a fork in the road, pick it up and move on. <laughs> this fork in the road gives you the feeling of hitting a speed bump going 50 miles per hour. There is no worse feeling, and like in life, there is no evident way to avoid them. But on the other side is glory and success. Jeremiah 29, 11 reads, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. No matter how bumpy or smooth the road may be, our actions are a major key to our success. About seven years ago, a wise and prosperous couple entered my life and shared with this little girl their secrets. I have come a long way since then to be standing in front of you today, but now I feel it's my time to pass this knowledge on to you. If we follow these nine How to Succeed guidelines, we can confidently take each step into our future endeavors. One, four responses. Yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. <laughs> Two, remember the opportunity to choose your own path is a privilege because you live in America. Three, in business, pay yourself, save for a rainy day, and help others less fortunate than yourself. Four, work with others. Do not have your coworkers or employees do something that you would not do yourself. Five, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Six, dream big. Seven, Believe in yourself. Eight, being successful so that you can help others is a gift for you. And last but not least, nine, stay happy, encourage others, and hug someone every day. As we kicked off the 2015-2016 school year, the teachers were introduced to the school's motto and goal of this year. Be the change you wish to see in the world. Gandhi helped the teachers help us perfect our inner selves and set the examples for underclassmen to follow. We must carry this legacy forward. Be the reason someone says, if he can do it, so can I. Take initiative and be committed. Be a leader. Together, we the class of 2016 can overcome any speed bumps and achieve the greatest feeling of all. For the 18 years, 58 days, 20 hours, 15 minutes, and approximately 25 seconds of life I have lived in the 17 or 18 something you have lived, we were taken care of by the world, but now we must take care of the world. In the words of Zach Brown Band, continue to sing, I got everything I need and nothing that I don't. Homegrown. And to my final words, God bless, and let's graduate.
Thank you. Also at this time, I want to recognize two students that will be quickly moving into the next phase of their lives. These two young ladies have signed on and entered into our military. They'll soon be joining their respective military branches. At this time, this is Miss um, Allison Allen and Miss Karina Navarro. Please stand. <laughs> satisfactorily completed all of the requirements prescribed by the East Bernard Independent School District, the Texas Education Agency, and the State Board of Education. They have mastered the curriculum set forth and are now ready to be certified as high school graduates. Madam Superintendent, as principal of East Bernard High School, it is with great pleasure that I hereby certify their eligibility for graduation and I present to you the class of 2016. Amber Victoria Adamchek. <laughs> Allison Kendall Allen. <laughs> Arthur Allen Anderson. <laughs> Brent no. Neil Babbitt. Rafael Belt Mares. Christopher Joseph Benton. Rynell Blunson. <laughs> Brooke Elizabeth Betcher. Thomas Chillin. Haley Danielle Clark. Alexander Espinoza. Yeah! Kelby Brooke Fortenberry. Ty Keller 
Jalloway. to honor the memory of classmate Noah Asher Garcia Gonzalez by presenting his family with this high school diploma. Noah will forever be a part of the Brandon family and the class of 2016, accepting on behalf of the family as Justin Orozco. Thank <laughs> you. 
take a picture. Lily Rain Thurman. <laughs> Go Mo! Matthew Aaron oh, Tobar. Mo! One more! <laughs> she stopped, I didn't get it. Oh, Tyler. Oh, Tyler. 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 John Blake Whitley. Russell Dion Zorodnik. Thank you for the many 
we close with one chapter in our lives and open another. As we lead separate lives, keep our hearts as close as they are together now. Continue to make our crooked paths straight and put the right people in our lives to help us with that. Lord, bless the teachers and the administration of East Bernard High School as they continue to inspire future generations. Bless our parents and guardians as we begin the next journey in our lives. Give the class of 2016 guidance and bless us with goodness and love. Help us to stay true to our dreams, to use our talents wisely, to never lose sight of what is important, and to walk into the future with faith, hope, and great love. Lord, thank you for the weather and keeping us dry, kind of.